ट्रस्ट मी दिस एंटायर थिंग इज गोइंग टू साउंड वेरी क्रेजी बट दैट इज हाउ आई फेल्ट वेन आई रेड दिस ओपन ए आई हैज अनाउंसड दैट दे आर पुटिंग टूगेदर अ टीम फॉर समथिंग कॉल सुपर अलाइनमेंट एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज सुपर अलाइनमेंट एंड वॉट आर दे ट्राइंग टू इवन डू विद दिस थिंग दिस इज लाइक कंप्लीटली फ्यूचरिस्टिक स्टफ but at this point having seen chat gpt having seen other large language models i'm not going to consider anything as fiction anymore because i think anything is possible and especially with the team like open ai with their ambitious goals anything could be possible and also you know could be just complete bs but let's learn what open ai is trying to do with super alignment introducing super alignment we need a scientific and technical breakthrough to steer and control ai systems much smarter than us so as you can see first of all what they are preparing for is they are preparing for something that they are calling as super intelligence and according to them super intelligence is different from agi agi that stands for artificial general intelligence is different for them from super intelligence super intelligence they are expecting it to be much more superior in terms of intellectual capabilities than human being so currently a model for example an ai model when it gets trained there is a way that that has been aligned and what is this alignment whenever there is an ai model that is created these researchers try to align that ai model with respect to human values the way we speak the way we communicate the way we answer questions the way we do not answer for some questions all these properties all these characteristics of what human beings used to do has been given to these models and that's what they call alignment mostly and this alignment right now mostly mostly happens with a technique called rlhf reinforcement learning with human feedback there is a human feedback that is given to this model and there is a reward model that is created and using a reinforcement learning technique these models are trained to value these human feedback or value these human values in such a way that this is aligned with human being a lot of people do not like this because they believe that this takes innately what that model is capable of but that's where we are so what open ai believes is that right now this rlhf is not very scalable and human being has to be there to do this alignment and open ai believes that when we have super intelligent ai systems intelligent systems that are like more intelligent than human being it's like a man versus superman imagine like that intelligent systems versus super intelligent systems then they believe that they will not take orders from human being because we are intellectually less capable so how do we ensure that these super intelligent systems are aligned with humans or human values without being actually humans sitting there and then telling them that is exactly what they are trying to do with super alignment and to do that that's like this is the entire problem statement and to do that what they want to do is they want to build they want to build an automated alignment researcher like a human level so what is a large language model here doing a large language model is trying to replace certain aspects of what we do in terms of intelligence write an article write a tweet create a drawing this is what large language model has been doing but imagine now take a researcher who does alignment for ai models now what if that researcher is not a human being but you can have a model or a researcher that is highly automated and that is highly intelligent and just like a human being that's exactly what open ai is trying to do to create a human level automated alignment researcher they're trying to build that and to build that or if they build that that alignment researcher will do the super alignment for these super intelligent systems who will ultimately respect human values because open ai is still a company that believes that ai which wrongly handled could pose a threat to humanity i mean they always stick to this narrative and even in this blog post you could see that um, preventing it from going rogue and a lot of other things they always keep on talking about how ai systems can go wrong so one of the reasons why they want to do super alignment is to prevent or prevent the extinction of human beings i mean i'm laughing at it but uh, maybe 
I don't know what is going to happen in the future if somebody is going to watch this video. 20 years from now, I don't know what is going to happen. So to align the first automated alignment researcher, they want to do three things. The first, they want to develop a scalable training method so that, you know, it's not like one to one. It's not like RLHA where a human being is literally sitting and then doing tick mark and cross marks, validating the result model and stress testing the entire alignment pipeline. And uh, that is where it's very interesting. Stress testing the entire alignment pipeline is where they want to do adversarial attacks or they want to falsely produce wrong result or uh, you know, inject wrong things like miscellaneous models and then see how this super alignment or super aligned researcher or the AI researcher would behave. So this is what basically they're trying to uh, trying to do to want to create a, an automated alignment researcher who's going to do the super alignment for the super intelligent systems. And by for, for them to do that, they want to do like a scalable uh, training system, first of all, second, validate them and third, stress test them. And what they believe is that with the like the current team, like the entire open AI team, they don't want to do that. They are dedicating one, two of their biggest famous stars. And one name is like completely everybody knows at this point, Ilya. Ilya, um, the bigger brain behind open AI, Ilya and Jan. So they have put together a team uh, with Ilya and Jan to build this team with the uh, top machine learning researchers and software engineers. They didn't say software engineers, I just assumed it. Engineers to work on this problem. And they're also dedicating 20% of their compute. Now you might be wondering, why do you need to dedicate 20% of this compute? One is because they are very ambitious on when they want to achieve this. In fact, they want to do this entire thing within four years of period. So they're dedicating 20% of compute that they have secured until date to solving the problem of super engineering alignment over the next four years. Does it mean that we'll have super intelligence in four years? We don't know. But what they're expecting is to solve the alignment problem in four years. So they're expecting at least like in the next, uh, you know, I don't know how many years that we, when we have super intelligent systems, they are aligned with human values. I mean, whether it is right for them to be aligned with human values, not like that's totally like different, like Skynet level conversation. But inherently at the core, this is what OpenAI is trying to do. And as part of that, they are also trying to put together a team. So they're like, if you are a research engineer, research scientist, manager, whatever you are, especially if you do not have like AI background and you are like core ML guy or girl. So they want you to join OpenAI and then solve this problem because they believe that this could be like an ML problem. And this is the time you can make the switch to super alignment. But overall, as I said, this video might have sounded really crazy. Um, it, it still sounds like that. But one of the things that OpenAI is trying to do here, at least what they're trying to say that they're trying to do here is that when we have super intelligence arriving, which, um, which almost at this point, the way they are portraying, it's almost a matter of when they're going to arrive, not if they're going to arrive, they're like going to arrive almost like for sure. When they arrive, how do we make sure that these systems and models align with human values? <laughs> like they do not just literally kill all the human beings and then say, oh, we claim the world. They don't want to do like that. So that's exactly what they're trying to do with super alignment. What do you, what do you think about it? Like, does it sound crazy? Um, I mean, before chat GPT, almost everybody would have said that this is crazy, but having seen chat GPT, having seen the growth of AI systems, what do you think about super alignment as a problem? Do you think even super alignment is required? Do you think super intelligence is possible? Please let me know in the comments. The blog post will be linked in the YouTube description. Otherwise, see you in another video. Happy prompting.